Under Rain Little Chris? Yeah. Yeah. I just I just interviewed him. He about, you about to interview him? Yeah. Hey! We in there. Like said, yeah, I'm telling you, this should be from like a Marvel movie. Like, no, for real. You know how movie scenes just be straight to the point. Like, yeah. Like, like, you know the little Chris? Oh, yeah. Like, because, of course, it's a movie. He got to know who you're talking about. Like, yeah. This should be from like a movie. Like, but it is, but you know, honestly, the way, honestly, you might not see it yourself, but your platform and my platform and the interviews we do, like, we are we are becoming the platforms already. Like, yeah. like oh, you already interviewed him on here, or, like, we already becoming that already. Yeah, it's like Breakfast Club, like, Hot 97 type shit. I'm good type shit, no boogers type shit. No, you good, bro, you good. You good. Real nigga shit, man. No, let me tell you some real nigga shit when you called me, it was like, yo, niggas got the sniffles. Yeah. That's some, nobody never, niggas just pull up, yo, niggas pull up, do anything. But you know, I started doing the music videos in the, in the COVID type shit. Mm-hmm. So that was a big deal. Like, oh, niggas pull up and you sick type shit. It's like, that's fucked up, G. Like, I might have to go home <laughs> to my grandma type shit. Like, so that was like, that was like a real thing. Like, like niggas might fall out over there. Like, damn, I might not even fuck with bro no more. Like, yo just came around, got me, I'm sure he's sick. Like, so I don't know. I, I, it's like, I didn't want to reschedule at all. So I just give you the discretion type shit because no, everybody got different immune systems when i when shit. i was when COVID first started i was going to niggas houses and like recording that music yeah. so i really was on that shit like i really wasn't but uh we good we running yo we back in here number one podcast ever Let's 20 million by the 20 million dollar podcast and today this is not a regular interview rapper interview like oh who are you where you come from this is just this is just some this is just two guys playing shit that they made in the studio, you know. Yeah, first yeah, person shoot them up. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah nigga. Um, so if you, you know who this is, the brand is here. You should know who this is. Um, one of the curators for the floaters, the one and only shooting arrow. Yeah, yes sir. Thank you, thank you. Shout out to you. Shout out to my nigga Blase. Yes, he called me Blaze on the phone. I did. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I asked you first, like I am. No, well, you I didn't ask you. Said it. And then I was like, well, I thought it was Blaze. No, no, no. It's, it's, you definitely call me Blaze, but honestly, it's not a big deal. I'm like, bad at that shit, but like... It's going to be cool if you call me Chris. Like, it's okay. Chris? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I'm not like... It's, yeah, I, it's, like it's, I, it's, I like both of them. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of... It's kind. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of weird when they come to me like, yo, Blase. I mean, but at the same time, though, it's Brandon, though. Like, like niggas will know your name, Nero, but won't call you Devin when mm-hmm. we get around people. Like, especially, you could be business, potential shit. So it's like... It's cool to call a nigga by his what you want to go by like your moniker type shit. So yeah, no, I never, I never really thought about that. Like, a nigga could be trying to downplay you by knowing that you trying to be this person, and they calling you like your government name is like mm-hmm. you trying to say you going up to like met the man you call him by his government name like he he going to spaz on you. No, for real, no for real. And then especially for for our levels and and the te- we good. I'm talking to Dwight. She already let me know. She on the one and twos. Shout out to Wakanade on the one and twos. <laughs> with the the, the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so me, I, I need, I need the white check too. Yeah. You good, bro? I got you. I, I've been, I've been no homo. I've been, I've been checked you out, no homo. You good? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had a bad boogie. You good? Um, yeah, car- I didn't get it off. I'm good. My um, Carmax over there. I'm having anxiety and shit. Yeah, Carmax know. gang. You, you, you can go get it if you want to. Go. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no thing. I can take a shot. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is gonna. You can't find. You can't find this car, Max. Shorty, empty your pockets. I don't trust you either. You got to empty your pockets too. You might. <laughs> this is a. Um, this is. This is. This isn't. I'm so happy that I can relax and chill, and I don't have to, you know, remember questions and like remember where a hood and where it's at and shit. You know, as far as interviewing people. I'm so happy I can just kick back and relax. Yeah, you you be having to um, look at your phone. I be looking at my phone and shit. No, I don't. I try not to look at my phone. I try not to write anything down. I just try to freestyle that shit. Yeah. How, how long does it take take for you to prep for an interview type shit? Honestly, with with the, with the type of people that I be interviewing, they really don't be having interviews like that already. Like certain some people, like I might have to watch a couple minutes of it, yeah. or like I, it, it, so I like if they if they have an interview, like I watch a couple minutes of it, and then like I might listen to like their last album or two. And then, like, I might listen to that first one if I'm really into it. And then that's pretty much it. Yeah. And then, like, it's just that I, I kind of just bring up the questions, like, kind of responsive. Like, how they acting? You know what I mean? Like, what they say. Like, I kind of bring them the questions from there. So, but how do you feel, like, 
knowing that they might not have a lot of interviews out, do you look at yours like, okay, like, this is kind of like the basis. Like, let me, for the next person that's about mm. to interview them, like, this this could be what they research. So, it mm. might be like a different type of questions you might ask. You know? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, 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 yeah. For people that already got interviews and they already got to like, yo, where you from? And like, yeah. how you, I try not to ask them questions. Like, yeah, but, but it, since they don't got interviews. I gotta get everything. You know what I mean? It's kind of legendary. Like for I know for Leak on the come up, he didn't have he he barely had anything. You know, it was just random, standard. You know, and honestly, the people that be, that begin interview like that, the interviewers be like whack. Like they be they be ass. Oh, oh, oh. I can't speak on that. You can't. No, I'm talking about like you know if you if you if 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 it's in Baltimore and it's like a a top rapper enough, he's probably been on like DTLR radio or like you know Hot Night or like some some oh, radio like like like, like a like a major platform in Baltimore that yeah. some people say. And like the interviewers, the personalities they have, they're really like we the major platform. We we are the platforms. Yeah. We are we we sh- we should be where you're getting your sauce from. Yeah. But it's just that's just how I feel. Prego. Yes, we yes, Prego, <laughs> indeed. Um, nigga, what's up with you? How you doing today? What's today? Man, I'm, I ain't Friday. Lie, you, you fucking saved my life, man. How I save your life? Uh, oh, with the upload? Yeah. Can, 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 how, how many minutes do it say? Oh yeah, can you click over? Just click on the Safari. It should be our still loaded. This is up. real life, man. This podcast and shit is not easy, man. Uh oh. Seven more minutes? No. I just don't know how to do it. Safari, oh. Chad. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Fucking the show up, y'all. It's your, boy, it's, like it's your boy. It's your boy shooting there. Say, Thirteen minutes left. Blase, Chris. We got thirteen, 13 minutes. minutes left for Larry Love photos interview. By the time you see this, that's gonna be out. So yes. go back and check that man. Check my page. Check bro page. He's doing great work. Thank you. We here. This my and it's my first interview, man. Since I started doing, um, I did. I, it's my second interview since mm. I started doing like the photo shit for her. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I only had like one other, in, two other interviews before that. Well, like, welcome to the network. Thank you. You're going to get what you need from here. After this, you don't need to go nowhere else. All right, got a case, man. <laughs> Y'all got to fuck with my boy. He got cases, man. He bitches yes. hard. I'm what, selling what cases. What do you say on it? Oh, this I, like, it's okay, just, it's hard. That's it's kind of like drop shipping, but with phone cases. I used to work retail, so it's kind of like, that's cool. Like, Thank you. The tags and shit. Right? Thank you. You know, um, you got tags shit at work and shit. Yeah, it's just it's just a, it's just honestly a, a I kind of I didn't try to connect my face to it. It was kind of just like a business that I was just trying to get going, yeah. like drop shipping and like selling phone cases. But obviously, my oh, pockets like passive income. Yeah, yeah, my pockets, my pocket. I was trying to do something else other than like trapping, because yeah. I wasn't good at trapping. I was skimping niggas. If you watching you this, point four. Yo, if you if you if it's niggas watching this, they was like, yeah, that nigga You're definitely driving a four point four. Nigga. Like, yeah, I can get you a fifteen. It's really a, it's really a nine. Right. It's really a nine dollar bag. Right. But I charged you fifteen. dollars yeah. You know, my Instagram name used to be two for the fifteen, <laughs> because <laughs> I, because I would get two for the fifteen, and then try to sell them both for ten, Shit. and then bink, now I got twenty. You feel what I'm saying? And then I might do that again. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's hard. Shit. But I never trap at all though. That was like that was like the delusional phase of my life. No, for real. I never I never was really good at it in anything either. I remember I was I was in alternative school and I was me and my nigga, I'm not gonna say his name, it's kinda incriminating him. Maybe like, maybe like that. <laughs> but um I was we was cool as hell and I was like, yo, like I need some money or something. I it was like some random nigga conversation, like, yo, that's I need a, some money. That's a setup. Yeah, he so, was like, yo, nigga like, yo, I need some money. He was like, yo, take this half an ounce. Take yeah. this ounce and a half and come he, back to He me. said, I need some money. He said, light bulb. This nigga gave me an ounce and a half when I said I needed him some money. That was oh. the answer. Because he needs some money, too. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> he needs some money, too. Nigga, I was, nigga, just don't you know that the Drake line, he was like, I remember, picked up a pound cut and he was selling, had to bring it back around, I remember. Yeah, Drake was a failure. That's how I was. He's literally talking about me. Yeah. But No, nah, I used to fuck up. I used to try to do that shit, too. Like, in high school, I tried to, um... It was some phone posits coming out. I was a sneakerhead and shit. The phone posits? Yeah. I remember the phone posits phase. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was in the early phases of it. Like not the early phases, but like I think the um I forgot what was I think I think the pewters was coming out type shit. And I needed them joints and my man's and them was selling da 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 and I just thought it was easy, but I made that money for the shoes and I just I was like I don't like this shit. Like you gotta re up and that shit. It's like you don't really even keep no money for real. Bro, a nigga, a nigga was really about to. A nigga was really about to rob me for a forty. Yeah, and I was paranoid and shit. I heard niggas was getting robbed for dime. I was like, ah oh, man, I play football with him, man. He robbing niggas and shit. No, like, for real. It's like I don't, I don't like. I, it's paranoid. Like you, you never know. Like, so that's why. Like that's why it's like people who do what they do. Like, 
like they post to shine because that shit a risk. Like that shit really they like, they deserve to shine for real. You no, know, for real. Shout out to my plug. Shit. Yeah. You pull holding it down, holding me down. That's the only difference. Like it's easy money. So it's like the only reason why a nigga don't do it because mm-hmm. one he might be paranoid, scared, don't want to get robbed, don't want to get killed, don't want to go to jail. All that. So shit. it's like if you. Saying fuck that shit, then you deserve all that. Sh- you deserve all that bread. You feel what I'm saying? Oh shit, but uh, we need to talk about before we go yeah, any further. Else. Before before we go any further, we need to talk about um, this whole Halloween party you just threw. Oh man, I appreciate that, man. Man, what was what's up? Like that, I remember. I remember when I first saw it. It was like when you was at when the DJ said they was gonna they was gonna do it or the interview. Yeah, I, that was when I first like. Oh, this nigga throwing a party. I get the. Yeah, I'm becoming a marketing guru, yo. Like, bro, you are like yeah. you. I'm sold on you. For real? I feel like I need to give you my card. Like, yo, take my five dollars a month. Yeah, take my yeah. subscription. Yeah, the money coming, man. Like the money coming, man. That's like, hard. Five dollars. I need that. <laughs> <I'm> serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got my fanny pack, bro. I want five dollars. Everybody, like. <laughs> Um, talk to talk about talk the about, party. Yeah, the party, bro. Halloween All party. Right, so, man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, so I'll go back to like, boom, nigga started the podcast in October, right? Right. It's a long winded answer. Nigga started the podcast in October. So boom. it's been a year. Yeah, we started the photos in like July, July, and then like we got the the space type shit. So I was just like, man, I be trying to think of ways to make the money. Today, like off of Instagram post, like mm. post this. I'm like, I could, like literally, you could literally post something, might get a little deposit type shit. Like it's literally like that type shit. So, That's hard. Yeah, so it was like I already worked on. I shot like two other podcasts. Um, um, Diaper Dads, my nigga and them, my nigga Shane and Lawrence. I was working on them. Their podcast. That was my first podcast I shot. So like that introduced me to the whole operation of it type shit. And it was like I was thinking about. It, it was like. And I, in that point of my career, kind of like I was so kind of focused on business of it mm. because I was doing a lot of stuff for different people, but I might can't really take that success with me because it's they shit because they pay me for it. Now it's, it's they product, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. Yeah. Then I, I'm getting to the point where I'll be losing my thought and shit. But long long story short, oh yeah, so I worked on their podcast, but I realized like. I could do a lot more for them for real, but I can't because it's business. You feel what I'm saying? Like I can't just be sending niggas a hundred clips or giving niggas ideas like that because you know what I'm saying. So you're giving out the you basically was giving out the sauce. Yeah, and, and yeah. Not really like that, but it's just like you know it's give and take. So it's like it, it just opened my eyes to like the possibilities of it type shit. Like mm. so then um, long story short, so nothing was shaking with the floor. This type of shit. We in this space. I'm like, shit, yo, we got these mics, we got these podcasts, we got this table, like, we got these lights type shit, like, I'm going to just start the podcast. So, that shit hit, and then, it's just people, that's what people kind of wanted us to do is podcast type shit. So, mm-hmm. that, so like, I'm kind of, like, stubborn against it, like, I don't want to just do podcasts for real. So, it's like, the parties and shit be, like, and the merch should be, like, just, like, kind of, like, a way for people to get to know us in different, different ways and shit like that. That's just that's just hard. I mean, me personally, me personally as a as a brand looking at your brand, it it, it makes me it makes me honestly want to want to up the process of because like you got the merch, like the 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 the, the content is the content is great. The whole the whole um the freestyles that that shit is that shit is great. It just makes yeah. me want to it makes me want to up my shit up up my ante, and if if you and it's just. And me personally, to feel like the thing that's slowing me down, you know what I mean? I'm just not sure. Like, I just don't want to, like, I just don't feel like I have enough knowledge as far as, like, I feel like the only thing I really need to, like, to really, you know, step up is just really on the creative, on the, like, the brand, you know what I mean? Shifting, like, you know, this, you this, is, this is a brand. Yeah, I got a logo. Yeah, it's the block. But remember how I was telling you how. I'm change the name. Yeah, remember how I was telling you about how like the Blasey network is too like connected to me and then a rapper and like and shit like that. Yeah. And like how the like unnecessarily how like the whole like the, the whole three syllable thing like I never even thought of that right, shit right. until also, you said I told that. You how I came up with the, the photo's name and shit. That's hard. So it's, yeah, it's like you gotta think of something that like you got a ring to it like the float turns like no jumper breakfast club. You feel mm. what I'm saying? I didn't even realize Joe that Biden podcast shit. like so if your shit is like yo we them guys dot com. Podcast, it's like you feel what I'm saying, like how do you kind of, you know, I don't know. I, I'd be just be thinking of like 
branding like mm. people always say like when you come up with a name like you gotta explain why that's the name type shit mm. so the float is just shit, I already thought of the name and I was like oh shit we can attach this meaning to it and then that kind of that applied to my life shit that shit's hard so do you want to explain the rubber ducky ah man. you don't want to you don't I mean, have nah, to I definitely do but it's just funny though right because so like when you say like you feel like you gotta be more creative and all that shit it's like I ain't gonna lie like nothing's really gonna change like hold on stay with me like when you feel like then you did something creative or whatever like you're right there already you feel what i'm saying so it's like nothing's gonna really change you're just gonna do it like something mm-hmm. you thought of you're just gonna do it like that's mm-hmm. that's all what creativity is type shit. and like ideas like this really show me that because it's like boom like, like you said how come up the name like i just was high in the bed one night thinking the names you already was having discussions for like months about a name type shit. Boom, I just thought of it. You feel what I'm saying? I told my man, you feel me? He's like, what that mean? Boom, I told him, like, floaters, like, jack of all trades. Like, somebody at the job, they gotta do more than one thing. Like, you like, so you might go on to your job, like, yo, where I'm at today? Like, yo, you, you floating today. Like, yeah. you everywhere. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, like, you just set up the cameras, you coordinated the interview, you edited it. Like, yo, floater, like, you gotta do more than one thing. So, mm-hmm. as far as the duck, like, so we came up with a name, right? Mm-hmm. And my man's John Wells, like, I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, the best rapper, and he make the best graphics, you know what Shit, I'm saying? I got an interview him, why he not here? Man, I wanted to tell him to pull up, man, but, um, you know how that shit be, like, it's kind of, some conversations don't come up, be so many different conversations. Yeah. My, I got his hat over there type shit. That's that, that hat over there? Yeah. Like, that he designed that? Yeah. That's hard, that hat was hard. I was quick. looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good look. I ain't want to put it on because I want to be on my clean cut shit. The clean cut, the hair is gone, guys. It's not Photoshop. Yeah, but bro, <laughs> but bro make tough ass logos. So, like, we was um. So we came up with the name. It's me, Henry, and John Wells. Like we in the space, we sitting at the table type shit, and John was like, "Well, that's not how you talk, bro." <laughs> is he white? <laughs> yeah, John was white. Oh shit. Yeah, but he's like, yo, he the best rapper. Oh, Lil Lil Luck. Up a little luck, up a little luck. Yo, I was Joe. I was I've been I've been following him. Like, yeah. I've been trying to get into him. Yeah, bro, that's hard. <laughs> as fuck. No pause, pause. <laughs> Not trying to get into. I've been trying to get into contact. I, yeah. I left the word contact. That's crazy. Out. I was gonna tell him pull up type shit, bro. I've let's look there. That nigga is so hard, bro. Yeah. That nigga is. But so he make hard. logos too. So damn. Yeah. So he was telling us like, yo, you gotta um. All right, cool. Like, yeah, but he designed a logo. He was like, yo, but you know, like, how I got that last few more birthdays. I got the stars and shit. Last few more birthdays, yes. So, like, when you get the logo, you feel what I'm saying? You got to have a little symbol with it. Mm. So, this is it's kind of a running joke. Like, my man's Henry, me, like, and John. We don't know who came up with the duck for real. Henry's saying it's him, but I can't remember if it, was me, if it wasn't me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I can't. Like I did just be flowing. Like, I came up the name. Bro, like, the way we, the way we be smoking, like I did, our memory is fucked. But Henry saying he came up, he came up with the duck, and he wanted the beat to be purple type shit, cause he went to Mount St. John shit. And I was like, man, a purple duck? That shit. <laughs> nah, 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 nothing against the purple. Duck. I just didn't want it to be. Pur- I just didn't feel like it should be purple type shit. And they started <laughs> saying they started saying some colors mean shit and all that shit. I don't be listening to all this type shit. So I just like, I right, fuck it blue. I, I like that. So. It's a two tone blue type shit. Like. Two tone. I ain't gonna lie. Hard. Like this is this, but like that's why I said about creativity. Like, cause we didn't second guess it. Like, we didn't say the duck and be like, all right, but let's think of twenty more and come back to it. like. Nah, I was really like the duck. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Okay. John started cooking it up on the Photoshop. That's hard. We put it, in, 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 but it was my idea to take the O out and put the the duck in the floaters. You know what I'm saying? Bro, little luck. If you're watching this right now, you need to get your white ass over here, <laughs> on here on this other side. I need to be talking you need to you. He's a serious dude though. No, for real. Yeah, was like, that was that too offensive saying he was white ass? Nah, I don't know. Just, just in case, just in case he did get offended. I, I take it back. I take it back. I was just joking, Lil Luck. Yeah, but how how my vibe, my vibe. I'm a joke. No, nah, no, nah, I, I was fucking with you. That was me joking. Okay, okay, okay. That I just fact. didn't want to disrespect yeah. Lil Luck. Nah, I, that, honestly, that was you joking, and then I joked too. Okay, okay. I fell for it. He got me. <laughs> and you want to hear a joke? Yes. Yo, if you say rocket real slow, no, nah, my bad. I fucked it up. If you say gullible real slow. It's not like you saying rocket. Gullible. Gullible. I'm sorry, yo. I don't know it. Gullible. Oh, that was a joke, bro. What is the joke? <laughs> I say, if you say gullible real slow, it's like you say rocket. 
Gullible. That's, that's the joke. You, you gotta be gullible. To do it. <laughs> Nigga, I should jump across this table. Superman <laughs> kick you. <laughs> Bro, I'm a gullible nigga. Shorty, know I'm a vulnerable ass nigga. If I. <laughs> I'm laughing at this shit before that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? We were talking. I was what? talking about something else. I was talking about something else. I'm going what? in too deep, like the Drake song. I'm talking about the Drake song. <laughs> in too deep. Um, let's talk what? about something else. <laughs> you know, let's take a shot. Yeah, man. let's take a shot. Cause, Cause you, you sometimes you might gotta get drunk. <laughs> yeah, you know I need a shot, man. Yo, I meant to say I'm lit though. I fuck with this joint. This shit. Thank fun. you, thank you. This and you giving me a perspective on like the other side of like inviting somebody on your show and. I ain't gonna lie, I should turn my week up for real. I'm like, man, I gotta I got do this, I gotta do that. But damn, Friday, you know. But I was waiting for this shit too, I bro. I got the interview. I was, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I was excited, like, just the the whole the whole brand and shooting narrow brand. I was just such a fan, like, before I even, I felt like, fuck, fuck asking you to come on a plot from. I was just a fan of watching it, you know what yeah, I mean? Let me, yeah, watching them for fr- freestyles and shit. That shit's hard. Good look, yo. That, and I mean, that's just, that shit is like my blood, sweat, and soul type shit, like. That's it, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm comfortable. I'm to the point where I'm comfortable, like to put it out there type shit. But that shit is like a journey for us. So thank you, I appreciate that. Like especially you saying that you know face to face, you know camera and shit. It's like that's that's a special moment. Type yes, shit. it is a special moment. This is history, nigga. Yeah, we are the platforms in Baltimore. Yeah, what's that? My comment. That shit. that shit disappeared and shit. Like type shit. Like that's crazy. You said your phone? My comment. Your car, man. I think I'm probably rolling. Shorty, me. I think Shorty took. No, she did. It. Check your pocket. Into your pockets before I come over there. <laughs> no, that's all good. Um, t- let's let's talk about we we both make music. Um, that's time to let's kind of. Did I explain the Halloween party? Really? Oh, we didn't even finish the yeah, Halloween yeah. party. Yeah, so the Halloween. Pa- nah, fuck the Halloween party. We, we what you mean, fuck party. the Halloween party? I want to know. That was just, that was just me like trying to like. Just I ain't gonna lie. Like I want that bitch to be like a rave, like low key. Like I want that shit to be crazy. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying. Like, I'm just trying to like really do everything. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But, was the hoes at the party? That's the own. That's that's the defining. That's the underlining moment. Think about it. We had like seventy five people there. You know, we kind of a family business as well. So my my man's mother was there. Like oh. his aunt was there. So it was mm, there. Okay. But I can't say. Say it like that. You can't you know say it like that. how I said it. My pops was there. Like, oh, we got we got a crazy demographic to where it was still that type of party. Like we, you know what I mean. But yeah, and then another like a beautiful thing about that whole experience. I so like I did the marketing for it. Like mm. we did the Freddy vs Jason shit. We did the costumes and shit like that. And it just was dope. Like I got to get in another bag. Like do little skits and shit like that. It and was that, just fun just creating in that little bag in that pocket. Yeah, and that shit can carry over like. Like I can, that like that's how I look at this shit. It's like you do it one time, that that kind of creates the IP, and now you can follow up, and that creates mm-hmm. a series of it. You keep doing a bunch of different series, now you got a network. You know what I'm saying? Halloween party part two. Yeah, next year. But look, so I underestimated how many Halloween parties it actually was for real. So like, people was party hopping. You feel what I'm saying? Like, oh. and like I'm a nigga that used to go to parties, so I understand that. So like. It was dope. Like that shit was fire. Like it's, I like I like I like seeing like shit from a different side of things. Like, mm. see me me personally, I'm not a I'm I'm a scary nigga. So I don't be I don't I don't watch I don't go I don't go out to haunted houses. Mm-hmm. I don't watch scary shit. I don't I don't do I don't do none of that Halloween. I don't celebrate. Like I'm a scary nigga. Like honestly, genuinely I'm a scary nigga. So that's why I did it because I ain't into that shit either. Like yeah. I was capping. Like I don't really fuck with Halloween. Like. <laughs> By the time Halloween come every year, I'd be like, oh, damn, it's Halloween. Niggas got costumes. I, be, I might want to get one. I'm like, man, it's too late. Like, I ain't about to go in there and get some bullshit. So that was my whole thing. Like, like you saying, like, with the branding and all this shit, it's like, you got to really try to think smart. You feel what I'm saying? Think ahead. Like, you got to think 10 years ahead and nobody else. You know, so I thought a Halloween party in, like, August, late August type shit. So by the time late September came, we like, shit, we about to start promoting this shit in October. Like, so that's the benefit of me, like, Working with the team, like if I if I come up with a good idea or we come up with a good idea, like we can put in the action, like so it wasn't just me. We got we had a decorator, we had people come clean the space, like um, we got we got we got an assistant named Bree, um, my man's Henry, we got my man's Real Spill Nick. Mm-hmm. He got a um, podcast. You heard the um, Real Spill? 
Yeah, so he was there, like helping host and shit like that. I'm, like, like, I'm gonna look it up after. I'm gonna look it up real still. Yeah, so it was. I mean, it was like a family event, but it was lit. Like, I mean, like seventy five people came type shit. That's we gonna just keep going up. I, so I had to pat myself on the back because that's like my second. My, the first party was an art exhibit type shit. Mm-hmm. And that's different type vibes. That's not really like a party party. So this is my like my first party I threw. So I gotta pat myself on the back because it was, that's the, like the big busiest weekend of the year type shit. No, for like. real. It looked it, just from the outside looking in, just as a follower on Instagram, it looked like it was it was a lot. It looked like it, it was a good turnout. Yeah. And that's and I'm and I'm happy for you. Like anybody throwing a successful party is that 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 shit is hard detrimental. Like on all that shit. Like yeah. I, I can't. I'm still drained from that shit. You still drain? Hell yeah. You was that lit? Nah, nah, just like just like I'm, I'm talking about being lit. working like workaholic. Like I had to wake up five in the morning the day before the party. You feel what I'm saying? And then I, and then when you think like oh I can get some sleep, now I gotta wake up at seven in the morning before the party. Oh hell no! And I gotta do so many things that shit. It was, it, but you know, I think I learned a lesson, bro. Like, so we we are we are the generation of podcasting in Baltimore. Um, if we had to give a couple tips, but you know, it's a generation. It's it's, a, it's we ain't the first generation, and, and the people before us still going hard too. Oh know? hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! It is a generation before us, and they definitely going hard. I'm talking about this is a question for us, and this is a question for us to talk our shit because mm-hmm. we work hard to get to this point. Have some more lip. Yeah, let's take a shot. Sure it is. Take a shot. Oh, you need some more in your cup. Yeah, can you shut the podcast down? like or like cr- criticism from my podcast it's like i've been doing it and it's just like hopefully it's good i never really yeah. thought of if it's good as bad and honestly you said what this he designed this too yeah, yeah, fuck is you talking about go yeah low luck he designed this yeah. fuck is you talking his about his name is john wells low luck like you know his pops call him luck because he broke his leg when he was young and said he's never gonna walk again you mm-hmm. know what i'm trying to say and he walked again so <laughs> there's though like his pops Bro, I need to talk my nigga him. ricky sabo how Whatever. is he? How is he as a person? Like, is he? Man, I ain't gonna lie. To you, is man. he a we're funny getting, nigga? Is he? That, man, we get into that, man. Um, man, I appreciate you so much for letting me upload that shit, bro. Like, oh, no problem. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's not nothing. We locked in, bro. We locked. We we been locked in before you pulled up. I don't even know what you're talking about. You, like know, you know what's crazy about me though? Like, my man. Nah, I ain't gonna get into that. But yeah, little luck. John Wells. How is he? What's up? So I was trying to interview him. You gotta think like. So when I bought my camera, I got my baby over there. That's a, that's a second rendition of my baby. We didn't even see it. Can I pull it out though? Whip it out. Though? Can I bring the bag over here? Yeah, yeah. You can bring All right. Bring the bag over here. I'm gonna treat it like a like treat like it's a bricks truck. Yeah, this is this is a second rendition of mine. I got the warranty on the first joint. Uh huh. The warranties be hitting. This might Ooh. be the, this might be the, this, might be the this this the new joint. But it's the same joint. So Ooh. so I think as a cameraman, it's like. They always try to stress like expensive, like buy the most expensive shit. Like I feel like this camera right here, the Sony A7 III. Mm-hmm. Like I want the S3. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like you gotta work with what you got. My man Supreme, my man shout out to my nigga Supreme. He taught me that like you really gotta be comfortable with what you got and you gotta work with what you got for it. Like that's the only way you can really Congrats. make something out of nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So um, that's why I feel like crazy holding that motherfucker. <laughs> But um, I put it back over there. But, but my man Supreme told me like you gotta work with what you got for real, and it's like these cameras is really designed to get the best picture that they can. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? So we talking about John Wells with a camera, but, but but basically the camera like <laughs> I was that, I, basically yeah my bad basically the, that camera though, bro. It's like that's a, that's the camera I had my whole career for real, and I just I keep getting better on the same camera. You feel what I'm saying? Like. That's the beauty of that camera. Like a lot of people like try to buy cameras and they might try to like cost cut, mm-hmm. cut costs or whatever. But it's like that shit was like sixteen hundred. You can get that shit for like fourteen hundred right now, bro. And that, that's the kit lens. Like I had broke my. Oh, it came lens. with that lens. Yeah, that, you I, broke the expensive lens. I got, I'm about to go pick it up from um, um service. Oh, forward. you broke it, gang. How did you break it? Trying to do a rap video for myself. And you dropped it. 
it was on a tripod and I had them hooked up to the monitor and, and like I had hit the cord and that, and that joint was just like it tipped over big. <laughs> and the camera can drop and be good but when it falls from the tripod oh like, that's a that's a long fall it's a long fall and then it's like a boom. yeah slam yeah so I had that shit like eleven hundred to get fixed. Luckily, bro. I haven't had an you experience. Eleven hundred to get fixed. To get fixed yeah. after you pay for so it. So when you don't see a nigga really kind of looking, you know what I mean? Super, super, super duper. It's like no, <laughs> that's why. A nigga, a nigga swag being different ways. Nigga, I like, wish when when I go to the club, I wish fucking I chain. I wish club. I could. I wish I could put my fucking camera with the necklace. Yeah. Fucking chain. I wish I could put that yeah, on. This shit right here like a chain. <laughs> that's hard. That's yeah. hard. What was the question? Do you do, you do the white teeth on purpose? What you mean? Like with a white tee on your interviews and shit? Or you just always wear the white tee? No, it's just it's just a fit. That's why I bought you the white tee type shit. I thought you was gonna throw it on type shit. I can throw it on right oh, now. Yeah, you hear what I don't give a fuck. I'll throw it on. I was just like, trying to like, show it out. You know how funny Marco do the do the blazer and shit? No, no it's genuinely like I genuinely have that many white tees. Yeah, no, me I too. I genuinely wear that many white tees a day. Don't look at my spot, bro. I just know I, just, I went to the doctors for this shit. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Don't look at my spot, bro. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you see this shit? What is that, bro? It's like I went to the doctor, bro. I went to the doctor. Uh, I went to the doctor. She, she fucking. Um, what's the website? Plug the website. Where are they gonna get this? From? Oh, oh, um, I thought you were talking about the doctor. Fuck <laughs> that doctor. I'm gonna talk about that after, nigga. It's real um, life. Um, it's the floaters dot my Shopify or some shit like that. Oh, the the, the Shopify at the end. I'll okay. send it to you or some shit like that. It's going to be in the description, gang. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you fly though, money. You said what? I said you, I, that should be fly on you. That's I didn't know I could fit a medium like this until I put this on. Yeah, it's an oversized. Shout out to my nigga Craig from Infamous, man. Shit, this Infamous is a good medium. Bar. Infamous eight ball design that shit. Yo, mediums look like fucking sports bras to me. For real? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is a big medium. This is yeah. good. That's not, that's not the craziest shit you said to me. Oh, yeah. We, we're not even going to think about <laughs> We're not even going to think about that. But these these spots, look at my arm, too, gang. Man, you want to compare spots and shit? What? You got some spots, too? Yeah, I just play football. And my shit actually. That's football. I'm talking about this is this is something that started popping up top of my body. Like, this one, when I showed you on my chest, it looked like a mosquito bite when I first got it, like, four weeks ago. And they like, you go to the doctor? yeah, I went to the doctor, and they said that it was like a. They like said Mercer? no, they said it was like a se- a se- a, 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 a a seasonal type of thing that happens, uh-huh. and there's no cause for it. Okay, and it's like she said it was nothing they could give me to fix it. Yeah, it's she's. You ever she, heard of HIPAA? HIPAA. Yeah. What is HIPAA? It's like when you know you're not supposed to talk about like your health and shit. Like that's like your private information. Oh shit! I'm too. I'm too. I'm too <laughs> transparent, gang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shout out to Dr. I, Usher. I don't see, I don't see that. I don't really see that like moving nobody. <laughs> my bad, my bad, nigga. This is real I life. My shit. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about your health, though, my nigga. Health I thought I was. I thought no, I was. No, no, I thought was, I was, was dying. Back, my bad. I was hating. I thought I was dying, gang. When I was, I was dying, dying, that's you getting to. My bad. No, I, th- I thought I was until okay. I went to the doctor. I thought you just were explaining because a nigga might have seen it or something. Now it's since you feel like he's about to die. No, now since you said it, I feel like I shouldn't have said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, regret yeah. it. But that's that's your whole bag, though. What you mean? Like, <laughs> I don't, I literally don't understand. You said, I shouldn't have said it. I said, that's your whole bag. Oh, like just saying shit I'm not supposed to? Maybe. I really don't want it to be. We like, should start our own show. Yo, I was literally, wasn't that what we was talking about before? No. Nah. Well, we was talking about probably something else, but we should do that. We should do that. That would be lit. Yeah. But um, I'm talking to Dwight again. Okay. You- should we talk about um my man Lil Luck and shit? Yes. How is he as a guy? What's up with him? Is he is he a, is he a cornball? Is he funny? No. Like, tell know. me, how is Lil Luck as a friend? Man. So you gotta think about me. Mm-hmm. You gotta bring it back to me. You know what I'm saying? And he was just kind of pivotal in my whole career, my whole experience with this shit for real, because of how good of a person he is. Type shit for real, like. Like, I met him at a tough point in his life. Like, his father just passed, for real. Mm, I remember watching that. This yeah. Like, what's crazy, he hit me for the video. And rest in peace to Ricky Silas, man. Like, not even rest in peace, it's long live him. You feel long me? So live. Like, cut the cut cut the three three acronyms that I just said, you feel me? Long live Ricky Silas. You feel long me? live. So, it's like, I met him at that point in his life, you feel what I'm saying? And he booked the video for real deposit and anything and it had to like kind of reschedule because his people's past you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so when i met him 
It's like when you hear, I heard the song, I'm like, oh, this bitch really hard, yo. And that was at the early, that's like, I'm telling you, that's like the very beginning of my shit for real. Like, I shot videos before, but like, that was me buying that camera. And I, I had just had it sitting for like a month or two. I had to wait till I bought the MacBook. That motherfucker that's tripping right now, but you say today. You said today. That shit, that shit, we are that here. Shit damn near uploaded. Like, the the Blase Network is here to save the he day. He saved the floaters. Yeah, he really saved the floaters, man. Like, I'm gonna put shit. it. I'm gonna I'm talk my shit. I'm putting put put in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you say, little luck? All right, so um, basically, like, like so, like, that was like, all right, I realized, like, man, you gotta get on the phone, talk to niggas about the vision in the video, like, mm-hmm. and I didn't want to do that. But that was like one of the first songs that was sent to me. Nah, not not one of the first songs. I worked, cause I worked with my man's Arthur, and he dumb nice. You feel what I'm saying? And like, worked with my man's Lil, and he dumb nice. But I knew them niggas. Like, I grew up with them niggas type shit, kind of like. So this was the first person I didn't really know before I got the camera that sent me like something that was fire. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this shit hot. He had songs like, he's like, he, he was like, play pussy, get fuck, don't play pussy, get. Fuck you. I, play. I think I need I, to do I'm my probably research. fucking it up, but you know, I probably remix it. I, I, I need to do my research. Yeah, yeah, so that was the first video we did. Like, and he's just, yo, he's such a, just a good person, yo. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that's really in my heart. Like, he's just such a good person. So, like, it's like, I really, like, I really got to witness, like, like, it was really a blessing. Like, I feel like his people's past, some of my people's that, was, that past, and like my great grandma, dad, she, like, Man, they might have bumped heads in there or something like yo, type shit like yo, link 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 your son with my my grandson type shit like I feel like it was that type of connection like because it was like it's just perfect, bro. Like just watching, him, well, not even watching, him, but just being able to start working at him in that point in his career because he was already that nice when mm-hmm. I had met him. You feel what I'm saying? So it was just such a, a pivotal moment. It was pivotal because I was working with I was working on a lot of different shit. Like I was traveling to L.A., Vegas, Atlanta, Miami with the camera doing videos. Mm-hmm. And a lot of shit I was doing was lit shit, like lit cars, lit clothes. You feel what I'm saying? Money, chicks and shit like that, guns. Mm-hmm. And then I would come home from that and work with bro. And on the other side of it, like the shit I just named, like it might be like. Niggas might not have been 100% satisfied every time with me on, the, on my efforts. Mm. But when I came home and worked with John, bro would be like, yo, this shit perfect, bro. Thanks, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and it took a little, little minute to realize, like, because, you know, when people kind of, like, they're not down on you on your craft because there's so much shit that's, it's, it's, it's such a component of the music that it's like, yeah. it, it's not personal, but you taking it so personal, like, a nigga might not like the video, might not have, executed how he wanted it to. It's not mm-hmm. even all on you because yeah, it's, it's on him too. Yeah, yeah. But you kind of internalize it in a different way because you're just learning this shit for real. Yeah, like you yeah. don't really got no confidence. It's like imposter syndrome type shit. Yeah, you don't have no confidence in your work. You don't think you can do that type right. shit. Right, so working with, coming, so I, every time I kept coming home and working with John, I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking working. This shit right here is working. Like, so I was just like, I'm a smart dude. I, I, you know, I, you know, it's, it's, you know, I'm a smart dude at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, man, I like this shit. Like, <laughs> let's let's do more of this and less of that. Like, hey, bro, whatever you trying to do, I'm with it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, to be transparent with you, uh, I ain't even gonna be transparent. But whatever, bro, is trying to do, I'm with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's that simple. Like, bro can call me right now. If I'm not about to do nothing crazy, like, I got to do something serious for myself or mm-hmm. something, like. I'm with whatever, like. You win them, yeah. And so I just been around the watch bro grow, like from like. And when you said for when you first met him, how like that when? was 2020. Okay. So now it's 2023, going to 2024, bro, about to be in some real serious type of predicaments when it comes to this music shit. But like, I just saw how he opened up for Freddie Gibbs. Right. And that's what I'm saying. I wish I would have interviewed him before. I need, I need to get his ass here. So it's so it's kind of like it's like like that shit has been constant growth though, like. So where it's like. That's really play, like how he play. He played for keeps. Like it's not just one big moment for him. Like it's like it's really a trajectory to where it's like that's the side of the business I'm into. I'm, I'm not really into the dream and shit. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You feel what I'm saying? Like bro got it and and he got the talent. If you really know the industry, it's like you know what they need. You know what they need, and but they need bro like. Real, the, they do. Hey, hey, that was good chemistry right there. Like they the, do need bro. Cause I was about to say some other shit. Like that was it. Like, they do need them. 
Yeah. I, I, I remember, nigga, when I first heard, when I first heard the last funeral more birthdays, yeah. like I was instantly, I, I yeah I, I I was instantly hooked like I'm like yo whatever he got like let me get it like let's go like, and he I'm, don't smoke or drink so let's take a shot for him he don't smoke or drink no what did what what did he do he just rap <laughs> yep <laughs> he make logos and he, and he got a studio 1045 he got his own 45 shout out my niggas man they over there on job about job and shit man over Bruh. there you know what I'm saying baby put in your notes not job but not job they not on job but they might be mad and shit at me they like they like over there like. No, no job to Addy. Like game. Taylor, like no nah, job to Addy. They trying to get some money. They on Taylor Avenue, ten forty five Taylor Avenue, I think. Oh, I think so. I don't know. I, I, call need to, I need to look him up. Yo, if you if you if you get on the phone with Lil Luck, just call him from your number. Just call him from your number. No, my no, number? No, no, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. My number again? He not gonna answer. My number. Yeah, but that ain't gonna lie. I saw them. I only listen to bro for real. I listen to bro. I ain't gonna lie. I listen to Soda. Like I fuck with Soda shit. You know Soda? Soda? Yeah. Like, like root beer soda? Nah, look on your phone. Look on your phone. Soda, like, like, how do you spell it? S O D U A. S. S O D U H. Mhm. Is he a Baltimore artist? Yeah. Holy macaroni! You just Holy put macaroni. me on. Yeah, that's my saying, gang. That you just put me on. You put me on. You're not gonna answer. He's, he yeah he looks like one from the internet. Too. Yo, like the Sony water gang, you know that's not good water. Thank you for letting me know, man. You need no shit some... hard out here though, cause like, <laughs> and not to say cause like that, but it's hard out here. Like, it's shit hard out here. Let's say a dollar, two dollar, three dollar. I'm gonna go with the dollar today. You yeah, know what I, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Like, I felt like that. Like I, I remember you. I'm gonna drop that today. It was like ah, I'm about to take the L today, and I'm. Gonna, Bounce back with the Fiji tomorrow. If, if you you never really been down there unless you use some dollar soap before. You ever use dollar soap, like soap that costs like a dollar or two? Um, technically yes. But you said ever, so technically yes. Fucking talk about talk <laughs> about as far as talking about being down. You get it? Nigga. Technically yes. <laughs> technically, if you saying ever, ever can mean now, it can mean then. You know what I'm saying? So yes. So technically, you might hope it, it could have been then, it could have been now. It's, it's, it, in God's grace, not. But if it's the same soap that's in the store, but if it's the same soap that's in the grocery store for five dollars, but just it's just a smaller version for a dollar. What's the, what's the what's wrong with that? I mean, you are gonna run out quicker, gang. But you always on the road. You always being. No, I'm not on the road. I have. I only went on tour once. I'm talking about like on the road, like 40, 70, like Liberty Road. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Drew <a> Hill. Oh. <laughs> Yo, uh, shout out to the Drew Hill area. That's where we are. Not gonna give out lows, but um, this this as far as this place is, has been treating me. Um, the lady that runs this building type of thing. She's kind of like the natural black lady, so she's kind of a. What's that mean, gang? Asshole. You know, bro, you've met a black woman that's an asshole. Like, don't act like that. Huh? Asshole. You never met a black woman, an older black woman that's like, all right, gang, like, you lost your mind. Like, you're right. And, and, and let's, let's preface this. Like, that's not us saying, like, we're not stereotyping all black women. No, no, no. We're talking about a, a, a demographic. We're a not specific. even talking about black women. We're just talking about a woman. Yeah, not not just one, but just it's a demographic, gang. We all all of us know in Wait, our you, age group. My bad. I, I'm, uh, what's the word? What's, what, what they call this shit I'm doing right now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk can't. about women. I don't want to talk about women. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is this is the Blase Network. That was a good. That was a good way to get out of that. I like that. I like that. Like, yo, you be transparent. Like, I don't yo, want to talk about. I, yo, I'm, I'm talking about women. Do talk about women a different way. But as far as like, what, are you in a relationship? Nah. You single? Hell yeah, I'm single. How how is yo, the you know you know yo I'm, I was talking to my homegirl the other day. I said, like, man, I might I might fuck around and go to um pay pay. She's like, damn, you be like a king. I'm like, hell yeah, cause I'm single. <laughs> no, for real, <laughs> nigga. When you single, twelve dollars, like, thirteen dollars, nigga, it's just lit. Like, no, I'm, for real, might get some crab on that bitch with twelve, fourteen dollars. But you gotta get two of them bitches. I feel like you gotta start rethinking that shit. I feel like is that shit worth it? No, twenty eight dollars. Y'all can go start a business or something. No, twenty eight dollars, like. That's 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 just the, the amount we need for two chicken boxes, and that's a lot of money, dog. That's what I'm saying. And I can still get a twenty after. What you mean? Like a za. I get some za after. If what, I you, get, what you saying? What like you if mean? if I got tw- run the whole scenario down. Twenty eight dollars. You know what I mean? I can probably go to Wendy's or McDonald's, and our meal probably costs like fifteen dollars. Nah, 
you get the biggie uh, bag. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars, bro. I have twenty dollars. I can get a twenty. That's za. That's a blunt. Like, how is that down to win? Yeah. But I'm in a relationship. So, so yeah. everything is times two, gang. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but but I wasn't. I was. I, I, I you know I was. I've been. I was in relationships. I'm just not in one right now. Type shit. Like, but um, my ex, my my um, I guess my last official ex for real. Like, she ain't gonna lie, she put a thousand dollars on my camera for real. Like, yeah, like she put what, like my birthday in December, so December eighteenth. Like she she put up a thousand for you to go towards. Yeah, that was my Christmas, my birthday gift. You feel what I'm saying? She put a thousand. I had some other money. Hopefully, and I, did I you really did you eat ass afterwards? Like to pay or like thank you for this. I'm I'm gonna do this for you to eat. I'm gonna eat your ass for thanking you for. I don't want to talk about that either. Yeah, so that's a yes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, like never really changed my life for real. Like because without that thousand, I might I might I might have could have had twelve hundred. But no, I needed another thousand. Like that mental block was crazy. Yo, that camera. It didn't that camera it didn't come with no lens and that shit when was I bought my shit it came with the, it came with the kit lens yeah for like 18 1900 and I put the insurance on it so it was like 2100 no no bro my shit my shit didn't come with no lens and that shit was two racks for that camera right here yes that shit fire then it was two racks and just so happily just so luckily that the camera that I have now fits lie, the same lens this, you should get this joint get that joint bro the Sony I haven't never dibble dabble with the Sony I never touched the Sony yeah, camera I, I, I'll teach you I'm down for it. We definitely have a lot more. How much time do we got left? Cause it's just so fun. How much time we on? I know you might. You might. How much are we on right now? Forty. How much time we doing? I can, we can go forever, yo. Bird, I'm bird. That shit. I have. I have like three hundred gigabytes of data. Oh, I bet, bet. So we can do. Even, we, we can do a twenty-four I, hour stream right now. I know, cause I know niggas be wanting my shit to keep going, but I, I be thinking about the editing and shit. And I'm like, I mean, it is a pain in the ass, yeah, but yeah, like, it's worth it. We like, ain't talking about. It, it shit could be fire, but it might be so fire that I want to make it concise. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. But so that's why I was just asking. Shit. And honestly, I'm just so happy that you helped me upload that episode, bro. Oh no problem. Like. That's that's that was guaranteed. If I got Wi Fi, then you got Wi Fi. You know what I mean? I'm not niggas be stingy. I've been around a stingy nigga before. We all have. Like damn, you ain't got ten dollars for the Wi Fi or something. <laughs> Knowing I would probably give it to you. Like nigga, you gonna make me pay for Wi Fi? We're you're not a hotel gang. Yeah. Like how you gonna charge? Yo, this Wi Fi is crazy. Like I don't even like how you down the Wi Fi. Like that they, that shit came in the clutch. Like <laughs> I'm locked in with life for this Wi Fi. Like you say hey. this shit might be, that shit upload it quick as hell. Hey man, it's something it's something like it. Um. Let's, I, I, I do want to get on some music shit before we end this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Because we both do make music. Um, I want to start by, like, we can start the conversation with, you tell me, I remember when you first got on Numbers, you sent me some songs, I sent you some songs. Yeah. And I honestly just want to start the conversation by, um, by talking about our opinions on each other's music. Um, I, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm going to start. Let me start with a shot though. So you just took a shot. Um, let no, me bad. We supposed to be coordinating the shots. It's cool. It's cool. We're we'll coordinating the next one. We're we'll coordinate this one. You gonna take it back and back, gang? Yeah, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. This, this is what I do. The niggas that know me, you yeah, nigga, the party. Look, look at Shorty over there trying to take a shot yeah, with you. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> you know, we locked in, man. You know, we Blase, Chris, the network. You heard Blase, the network, the floors, Thank you. man. Shit. A lot of niggas ain't never do shit for the floors, man. He helped me. He really helped us today. This, this really one. That's really one of the best. One of the biggest interviews I ever did. You feel what I'm saying? For real. So I don't even want to waste that man's time. I had to be like, bro, I don't even want to talk to that man more than I gotta talk to him. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He's a busy man. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it's the, the the least. It's the least I could do for you. Like I'm. It's nothing that I hear that I feel that I feel. That's God though. Privilege above. We really said Saturday. We did. Yeah, and you had like yesterday said Friday, and I was just like, fuck it, let's do Friday. I think I think I might have just got lit and just forgot the day and I might have mixed it up. So yeah, I'll take but, that. But out. when you ask Friday or Saturday, it's like kind of the same day, kind of to me. So, all right, let's get back to the music question. Uh, when I when I first listened to your music, it was kind of it was kind of like, it was like, uh, I, I'm the only one that didn't take a shot. I'm yeah, sorry. Well, I didn't take a shot either. Let's let's take a toast to the game. Toast to the motherfucking game, the motherfucking YouTube video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh shit! Uno, uno de azul. What that mean? This this that shit you need. That's that's what it means in Spanish. This that shit you need. How much was the bottle on those shallows? This shit. this this was honestly 40, 40, 42, 45. It's a gallon. Forty seven dollars. This is a. Uh, Ain't no fifth. I think I think this is a I think I don't think this is a gallon. 
I think it's a leader, right? No, a leader. Jeez, that was fucking strength. Bro, this is this is two days of drinking. So yeah, man. Hey, three. Hey, you ever thought about like fucking with the floaters and shit? Not not to keep ducking the music shit. What you mean the floaters? Like, man, I thought like we can I thought like, I mean, I like we can we can do some shit, man. Bro, whatever you need me to do, if you need if you if you think of me like yo, I think Chris would be cool on this, hit me up. I will be there. Like yeah. that's how I am. Like I'm trying to be like a Whoa. I'm trying to be like an executive. I'm gonna send executive names. I got got hella like bad shit on his name. You feel what I'm saying? But I still want to be like that nigga. I, I just don't want to tell you like, hey, I'm trying to be like this nigga and this nigga do crazy shit. You feel Yo, what I'm saying? I think I'm bro, trying to be like. I'm the, trying to be like a. I'm trying. That's my goal with this shit, bro. I'm trying to really. You want to be the content. Nah. You want to be the content. I don't know. What you mean? Like I want to be. You, you already are the content. I want to be gang. an executive. Executive. Period. Like, everything I'm doing this shit is a vehicle. Oh, you want to be behind the scenes. I want to be like Dame Dash. Oh, like not Dame Dash, but like Dame Dash, but like a Dame well, Dash. You, well, if you need something to put in, nigga. Well, the the, the Blasi Network will give you equity in the Blasi Network on camera. I just said it. Oh, and if we help you with the production and shit. Oh yeah, I don't give a fuck. Oh, this is this shit is only me and Shorty. How much equity are you talking about? How much equity? This is this is an on camera deal. Yeah, we gotta get this YouTube money going. Man. We got this is an on camera deal. What you think about? You want some street interviews? What you think shit. about? You want some street interviews and all that shit? Get know? me? Yeah. Hell so yeah. You, am I coming to the floaters or are you coming to the network? I mean, we outside. It's just a logo. We, we can put do a logo on. I mean, we can we can build our own entity outside of all this. I mean, it's a lot to do, bro. It's, it's, this is a world that is ours. You're right. All right, right. you right. We talk about it more off camera. Yeah, this is off camera, but we'll we'll talk about Let's this off music, man. Let's go to the music. We both make so music. You about, you about to give me an opinion? I don't really, I ain't gonna lie. I really don't want an opinion off. Yeah, music. Two songs, three songs. I don't really, don't, I don't really like opinion. Yo, I, I feel that no, same I'm way too. Give you opinion though, yo. I, I mean, but I don't want to cross I'm any I'm lines. I'm sensitive about my shit. I don't want to cross. I'm sensitive too, gang. I'm, tell, I'm, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. <sighs> don't. I don't. I don't want to cross any lines if I'm. If I'm going we, we family, bro. I genuinely think like, like, bro, the bars. Yo, yo, yo. I've never heard any bars like that. You know what I mean? The bars is hitting crazy. You know what I mean? I feel like um, construction that you probably would not want to hear. Like, do you have an engineer? Oh yeah. So look. So anything. I, so that's what I send you is like just me. Like, you engineer? Yeah. I make my beats and I make the. Oh, yeah, so you asking me like on some like you might want to help me type shit. Bro, I'm not talking about some help. I'll do anything for you, bro. Yeah. I got you. But so no, but, but like that's me just recording myself for real, like, and I'm punching in for real. So it's like, I'm making them songs in like 20, 30 minutes. Like I heard Neo say you freestyle. Like, yeah, I heard Neo say like, if it takes you more than an hour or an hour to have to make a song, it's not a hit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's not true, gang. I've I've spent 24 hours on a song before. But but that's the shit I want to subscribe to though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a feeling. Hmm. You feel me? Like, cause I can make a song in 20, 30 minutes. And I see my man's Triz, my man's um, D House and then my man's Triz really got me on that. Like, cause you already fuck with their music and you see them make it, they do that mm. shit in like 20, 30 minutes, bro. So it's like, you don't gotta overthink that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, again, like Roddy Rax and them, OTR o- o- Chaz and them, bro. Niggas is not spending that much time on music, bro. Like, they not. Honcho, like, all the fits from the future, like, they they say, say future just going and I keep feel, freestyling. But Real I feel way. like that's just the time that we're in in hip hop. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not. It's. It's not. Nobody is sitting down and writing lyrics anymore. Everybody is punching but it. You Everybody might punch is in no, quick songs. And that might just be the concept. You can still go back and and fine tune it. But as far as getting the song out and the concept out, like John, John, right? So you right. Like it's different methods. But the method I kind of subscribe to now. I straight punch in, and that's how I'm recording myself, like to where it's like a premix and shit like that. Mm. So, hey man, I, and then not even necessarily like I'm trying to help you. Like if anything, I'm not trying to like set you up to do mixing. It's just more so like, like nigga, if you get the right presets, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, if you get the right presets sliding you into know? them. Yeah, I was bro. Do you use FL Studio? Nah, can you show me? I I, I use um Logic and shit. Logic. Mm, I can send you some Logic presets. I used to have. I used to I I started off on Logic, so I could I could see if I could find them Logic presets and I could send them to you. Um, but it's kind of for like no, I, I switched to FL though. FL was cool. Like the only reason why I switched to FL was because I started. I got FL. It's because I started like making my beats and like I started like actually making my beats and shit. That's the only reason why I really switched to FL. Yeah. And that's about it. But I punch in too, like you. I punch in too. It's I can write too stuff. though. 
Oh hell yeah! So if you listen, if you want Apple Music, like if you look up Devin McCoy and shit, that's like all my shit I was writing, like up until like twenty twenty, and I got the camera. Mm-hmm. That's that, when you stopped that, doing music. That's when I stopped really dropping on the stream and shit for real. Mm. Like I just dropped some shit in like February or March, like on the stream and shit. But it's one song, but it's like twelve songs put into one song. Mm. Twelve songs put into one song. Yeah, so it's like an album. Just, that's kinda, an album, nigga. I just kind of just don't care. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, that's my aesthetic with the, with that type shit. Because it's, it's like, your vibe. That's that's what I got from listening to your music. It's, it's it's not not necessarily you don't care, but like you have your own you have your own world. You have your own style. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like the thing I'm most confident about for real is like my ability to rap. So it's like I look at it like it's it would be goofy for me to kind of like be chasing the music career when there's so many different bags you can get into outside the music and then you can just do the music like sprinkles on top for real. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. To where it's like you said like the freestyle videos and all that, like why you ain't do a freestyle video yourself? Huh? You ain't I do it. Go to my page. I didn't see it yet. I mean what what shoes maybe I didn't see it. But I'm an, sorry, another another, another I'm question. Like music. I'm sensitive about music and shit, dog. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm nah, sorry. nah, nah, I'm some funny I'm doing some funny shit, but though. Oh, I was yeah, you talking about some I was, I was gonna say because 'cause I'm I'm sensitive about my shit too, but yeah. um You know I'm so sensitive about my shit that I, I I really couldn't even give you no critique on your music. What? Just because like I don't even like everybody's in their process and their journey and I fuck with your shit. That's all I can really say, like I fuck with your shit. You feel what I'm saying? But it's right here, it's me. Oh, I've definitely seen these. I'm talking about gang. I'm talking about oh, like, like floaters. Yeah, or like the floaters. That's freestyle. a confident entry. It's just oh, uh, that, that's a business, man. That's a business. That's, 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 that's your that's brand. Not that's your the brand. Floaters is not narrow. You know what I'm saying? Um, the floaters is everybody. I've definitely own. seen the videos of like how you just showed me the, and the other ones that you were just rapping into the mic. Yeah, that shit is hard, nigga. Like I want to uh, talk about. It's probably it's just like how it's up and coming podcasters watching this. These is one of the last things we're gonna talk. You gotta go shit, huh? She watched. She gotta go shit. That's crazy. She gotta go shit. So I'm um um a, a lot of younger podcasters are coming up, and a lot of young artists are coming up coming up talking about talk about. I want I want last one of the few questions we want to talk about is let me take a, let's take a shot before we can correlate. Wackinator is not on the ones and twos, so if it's anything, you want me to tell you why I call it Wappinator? What's that, dog? You know Terminator? And you know WAP? Like the song? That wet ass pussy? Yeah, so what does this mean, bro? Wappinator. Yeah, what does that mean? Is it, is it about the liquor? No, I'm just saying that's why I call her that. Oh, you call her that? Yeah, that's that's why I gotta say this is my phone. That's my, that's my wife. Well, not yet. That, right, that's your wife. That's not yet, but so we shouldn't be talking about what you talking about. I mean, it's just I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, think, I think that's probably the age difference. You feel what I'm saying? Because niggas take a shit a lot more serious when you get to the later twenties to thirties. I'm thirty. You feel what I'm saying? I definitely so, got some learning to do. So from niggas not really talking like that. Yeah, no. like so when you said whopping at it, dog. I thought you were talking about the liquor, like because there's no way you could be talking about. It I call it. I, I call it. I call it walk. And you said walk. Instead of wet ass, but the, it's like wop wop is the same thing, but it's like wet ass. Instead of wet ass pussy, is wet ass coochie. Also, no K. It's 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 that's it's why. Not I, K at the end. No no. If I, I, it, it's even two different words. It's either wop or it's even wop. Put the shot. Yeah, let's take. It. I'm sorry. I'm, I I should not have explained it to you. She does not like when I explain this to other people. She don't like when other people call her that. But my junk ass, my authentic, my authentic ass. Nigga, you drunk off that this song. <laughs> you drunk off that this song. Dude. That's what you drunk. All oh, the chemicals and shit. <laughs> it's like I'm joking. I'm joking. You want to hear my opinion on your music? I mean, if you have one, like, it's okay if you don't. If you don't want that to. That shit fire, bro. Keep pushing. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've been doing How long have you been doing music? Uh. I would say officially since 2018 for real, mm. but I definitely had I haven't I haven't had a studio session since 2021. Mm. Like everything I had done since then has been recorded myself, and it's like I don't really put it out because like you said, like the mixing and all that shit. It's really just like it's like a flex, like mm. uh, 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 you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, and I, it's just definitely it's definitely feel like it's gonna. I feel like I definitely feel like if if I do get in that process of dropping the project in between the podcast, it's gonna like conflict like it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna uh, offset the podcast you know what i mean that's definitely how i feel 
Yeah. But like me and music, you know, it's like I'm not gonna be like I can't schedule like yo, I'm gonna make a song this day. Like it really got I got my own mic in in the NFH and all that shit. It's just like it's a feeling. Mm, it is. I gotta feel something mm-hmm. and then I'll create. So it's like Stay tuned, though, because I'm about to really lock in. Like, and that's, that's the beauty about this podcast is, like, niggas is really meeting niggas that's pivotal in the music creation, like, especially in this area type shit. So it's, like, that's my next really type venture is, like, I'm going to lock in, like, really lock in with producers, really lock in with engineers. Cause hey, uh, um, I, and another, this is the last, this is probably, the, I'm sorry I'm asking you so many questions. This is the last question I'm going to ask. But I wanted to ask more questions type shit. Okay. Are right, we going to do that. The one question I'm going to ask you. And then you can ask me anything. We can go. We can intellect on anything. Dialect. Um, I can interview, interview you real quick. I mean, I don't give a fuck. It's cool. Nah, you can I'm do that. But the le- one question I'm at is, is, don't you know how I just interviewed Lil Chris and shit? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, I, he asked me to send him a beat type thing. So, like, if you had to give me some tips on making the beat for Lil Chris, you know what I mean? Give me some. I would say um, switch, switch, see, this is my bad. Switch, switch the beat up a lot. Because listening to Lil Chris, because I heard his tape. I heard like two of his tapes um this week for real. I was I was locked in type shit. Switch the beat up a lot because he got a lot of flows. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Do you mean like you in don't one song or like send them different? You know how we make beat. No, nah, you know how we make beats. Like you can do four bars and then do sixteen bars and do another four bars. Mm-hmm. Like I'll do four bars, six bars, eight bars, four bars, four bars. So like he really because he got a bouncy flow. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, he, like, he can. Yeah. And he going to be in the pocket the whole time for real. So. And I ain't gonna lie, I heard Lil Chris, and I feel like I can do a lot of good music with him too. Like he, he, he tough. Like I can see that too, listening yeah. to your music and listening to his. Yeah, real shit. Like he, like he definitely like one of them pure rappers type shit. So it's like I was supposed to beat up a lot for real. Because as a rapper, when you, when the producer don't supposed to beat up a lot, it's like I gotta stay in this pocket. I gotta keep this flow for real. Mm-hmm. Or the engineer got to drop the beat. You just switch the beat up. You switch know what I mean? Switch the beat up so a lot. Like, a lot of different pocket. patterns, like so he can really go crazy. Bet. That shit hard. Damn. That's, what I'm saying. That, that's really my bad. That's what I'm saying about the music executive shit. That's, that's, that's really, the perfect that's, answer, that's bro. That's really what I'm good at. Like, so I, that's, that's why it's hard for me to work with a lot of people on the music video tip because that's just a small capacity of what I could do. You they already got the song ready. Right. So it's like, it's, right. So I'm I'm coming in like too late to where it's like I can't even kind of get jiggy with that shit. No, for real. All right. So that's the I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna, I'm uh, honestly genuinely I'm gonna send you the beat then before I send the little Chris so I can get your little but that's off camera shit so questions you're gonna ask me uh brought to you by the one and only D floaters not the flow D D nigga fuck you talking about yeah the floaters D floaters all right how the white people say it so do you so so you say you so you rap so is it like prevalent to you that the podcasting is working more than the rap ever did for you? And if it is, how do you feel about that? Um, necessarily, I don't think the the podcast has worked more than the rap because I've had way more accolades, honestly, way bigger than the podcast accolades that I have. In but the rap, yeah, yeah. Like, like what? Like I went on tour before. Like you I, fix your mic. It's my show now. Oh, shit. Not, not, not in that type of way, but no, like, no, no, no. Nah, it's I, his show. Yeah, like, want me, yeah, let me get ready, yeah, nigga. Let me, let let me bip up. up. This is the floaters. This is brought to you by the floaters. Yeah. The floaters. Yeah. But um, honestly, like I, I, I remember I would like the last monumental shit I went on. Like I was on tour. Like I got signed and really? shit. Yeah. Like I went on tour. Like on the East Coast. Like I went to like uh, like Georgia and like Atlanta and then like I went to like so, there's like states around there. It was like like three four. Different shows, but that's about it. And I went, I went on tour, and like, I actually had people like fucking with my shit, and I can like see them and touch them, you know, and ask them how they felt about my shit, you know what I mean? And like, it just feel like the podcast is just like, it's just, it's just like, I'm, I'm an evoluting ass nigga, so you know, you know what I mean? Like, I, I started evolution, evolution, evolution. Is that from evolution? Yeah, is that from evolution? I'm sorry. Yeah, so I started from rapping, you know what I mean, and, and I and, and I ended up at podcasting, you know what I mean. So it's an evolution type thing, and it's this just photos TV. We have a Blase Chris. Yes, yes, you are. And and as far as I as far as I just put out put put out the content, it just that's it. Like as far as I make, I just want to make the content. I just want to be the content. But you don't you don't see how the how people can hear from you from the podcast. 
and more than they hear from you from the music. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I know. I know that. I, 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 I realistically feel like it's going to be more people that listen for the podcast than the music. You know what I mean? My, like, people don't listen to my music. Like, I don't get I don't get pointed out for like, yo, I just listened to your album. Like, yo, I just heard your single. I yeah, get pointed that's, out. That's, for that's, that's what I meant really more than like, than, than, you feel what I'm saying? Like, just, just that aspect of it. Like, yo, a random person tell you, like, I listen to your, your podcast. Yeah, yeah. More Versus people somebody say saying, yo, I heard your song on the radio. Because that's, like, a, it's a different game. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, it is a different game as far as marketing and doing shit. Like, I've, I've never actually, actually myself put everything behind. Your music. Yeah. I'm, like, the only thing that I, I put a certain shit behind is just the podcast. Like, I never put everything so behind. So you're saying you, work, you feel like you worked harder every, than you ever did on the podcast than the rest of the music? Me too. Yeah, I feel like that too. But yeah, but but I think it's deeper than that though, because it's a different field. Like it's more narrow. No pun intended. No pun intended. Narrow. No, it's more narrow of trying to make it in the podcast. You might feel like that's more of a direct line, direct line than trying to make it into the rap shit. Because there's so many different loopholes. You might have to be this type of person. You might have to wear this type of clothes. You might have to work with this type of person. Pay this to be here. Get signed to that person. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Whereas the podcast is like, the beauty of this is like, like I seen your shit and I fuck with it and it's like, I don't know you, I don't even, you know, we didn't ask each other where we from or none of that, what school we went to, none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel me? You could know my worst enemy, but we didn't even kind of talk about that because we connected on, on on the easier level. On the versus, vibe. Versus connecting on music. Like, I'm not going to necessarily hear your song and be like, yo, I got to meet this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? But I can be like, that shit fire, but it's a little different versus a podcast inconsistency of you seeing somebody and they talking to people that's like, oh shit, I kind of want to talk to that person too. I mm-hmm. want to talk to that person too. And you talk to them like, it's a little easier ball game. Plus my confidence is fucked, so. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean? Like, like, as far as like, believing in other people more than I do myself, like, that's a problem I have. That's a gift too though. I mean, it, it is. Like, you gotta, I'm, you gotta, I'm a good role player. Like I'm, a, I can play on a good team. You know what right. I mean? But just think about Robert. You know Robert Orr. No. Robert Orr. No. Okay. I probably. I think I've heard the word of like. What did you he put do? this clip before? Like in the beginning of the interview. Like it, this would be the first clip. I'm oh, like, the warm up trailer. You, do you know Robert, Robert Orr? No. I right, start the interview like that. So like the niggas know like it's a, like an age gap between us. Okay. Cause you know Robert Orr. No, I don't. Gang. Cause you know somebody older than you. Is um, somebody older than your phone like like thirty? Thirty. That, that you know what answer the phone right now? Shit, no. <laughs> I don't have that, have that many friends. Like 27, 26. 27. Gang, I don't have that many friends. You know why you can call right now? That I can answer the phone. That I don't think there's no friends that I can I can think of that would answer the phone right now off the flip. I'm thinking of somebody. I don't have that friends. <laughs> is that a bad thing? Is that too open? Oh, John called me back. John? Oh, he didn't answer, gang. I mean, you didn't answer. Nah, I was locked in. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me, bro? You know who Robert Ori is? I know the name. See, he young too, yeah. He young, how is he? He, he 26. That's hard. Right. Lil Luck, I'm your biggest fan. Yo, sure, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Blase Chris, yo. He don't know who I am. He, he don't know. Network, yo. He don't know who I am. Yeah, I'm hit, you hit? Yeah, I'm hit. Oh, shit! <laughs> you hit, swear to God, you hit. That's hard to Yeah, I'm, I'm here right now, yo. He said, what's up with John Wells White ass? I said, look, man, my man, that's a serious man right there. He ain't going to fuck with how you just said that. <laughs> he said, for real, I was, like, I, was, I was like, yeah, I'm joking a little bit, but just in case he don't fuck with how you said that. I know, you prepped me, he prepped me. And he said it's a wild shit on here too, yo. What'd I say? Oh, the 14 shit? Oh, no, shit. No, we're, we're not going to say it again, yo. I definitely said some wild shit. I'm hey, sorry. Wh- Hey yo, but he said he got a thousand dollars for you to rap right now. For real? No, don't say that, nigga. <laughs> I don't have that. Yo, don't believe him, Luck. I don't got that, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he, he said he's trying to get you on here and shit. Alright, yeah, that's a bit. Alright, say less. Yeah, you don't know Robert Ori is Robert Ori is though, like for real, for real? You know who he is? No, I recognize the name. I don't know him like all right, all right, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna call somebody five years older than you. <laughs> all right, beloved. Yo, shout out to Lil Luck, man. He the realest, bro. For real. 
I, I, I genuinely fuck with his music. Like, that shit is hard. Yeah. I was bumping that nigga. Like, I remember I was, I remember when I first, first tried to interview that nigga. And he, like, I guess, like, he didn't really answer. Or, like, some shit happened. It didn't really correlate. But, like, I was just, I was such a follower. Like, I'm going to keep following this nigga. Like, that shit's hard. Yeah, that, that's the best way to do it. Like, nothing is no, it ain't personal. Like, I, like, I want to get you on my show if you don't feel like it's the right time. A lot of niggas don't know how to say that. It might not be the right time. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's good to just not take it personal. Like, you know what I mean? Still love it in the day. Like, you doing something positive, they doing something positive. Shit. Um, um, we coming up towards the wits of this episode. Yeah. Um, this is not live, so it, so your girl is not watching us. Usually she watched the live show, you know what I mean? Um, Who's girl? You know, the niggas is watching this girl. Who's girl? Like, anybody's girl. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, you don't think we the same skin color? Damn, damn, my nigga, like... <laughs> Yo, colorism is crazy. If colorism is crazy, you're not dark skin. You're not dark skin. Don't try to get in that bag because it's popping right now. You geeking. You trying to get in that bag because it's popping right now. That's wild, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You light skin too, bro. Put a couple more bottles of lotion on. You be light skin. I'm brown skin too. You, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm out. Need one more shot after that. Yo, that was crazy. I'm not gonna talk no life. Like, That's crazy. That was color. That was colorism, dog. I'm sorry. That's colorism, dog. Uh, My ancestors just did a backflip. The Blase Network has apologized. This is a public apology to the floor. And for, and for, for like four four different occasions. Um, um, right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let me put my yeah, headphones on. You got to bro. Let me, let, me put, let me put you on some game real quick, though, bro. John Woods got a line in the song, right? Mm-hmm. No Drugs in Heaven, right? It's about his father. Ricky Sawyer, right? we talked about, right? Yeah, 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 I don't know. And it's like, he talked, it was like, the song was in Ricky Sawyer's perspective. So he's like, he met John, in the song, he met John, and seen John with his girlfriend, he said, he said, damn, you doing good for yourself, boy. If only you knew, you know what I'm saying? So I said to you, he was like, to now, like, to really appreciate the moment you were in, like, to where, you, to where, you feel me, the love of your life can tell you, like, yo, fix the mic, you feel what I'm saying, like, you might can take it, not saying you take it for granted, but th- that's the little things in life that really, uh, honestly, that, I look, have... that really mean more than everything, bro, like, that little shit, like, that mean a lot, that's, like, that's what you gotta take with you when you might f- think about confidence or doubt and this shit, like, that's the thing you gotta take with you, like. The little shit, bro. That's it's the little things that really matter, bro. My father used to always tell me that, bro. It's the little shit that matter, bro. Do you do you have both your parents? Yeah, I definitely do. Um, and that's my parents that's in thing. Mexico right now, so they in vacation. So you got both your parents too. Mm-hmm. You parents if I start, you about to say my both my parents is. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Your I didn't mean to laugh at that. Good. They in Mexico. My parents is doing good too, and that's a blessing. Like I know a lot of people that don't got parents, so like I like. And that's the whole thing. My my parents don't got really. My mom got her mother, stepfather. Mm. My my father had his mother. Let's speak to my grandma, mm. stepfather. You know what I'm saying? So my father don't really got a lot of family. So family is important type shit. That's basically what I'm saying. What what should somebody take from this episode? My take. What should somebody else take from this episode? Just keep stay a real nigga, man. Um, That's my takeaway. Stay a real nigga. Cop floaters merch. Definitely. The way this Let's shit fit on me. Like ten seconds. One, two, three. Look at the camera. Though. All the bad bitches. Ten seconds though. What about the bad bitches? All the bad bitches rocking floaters mode. All the bad bitches want to party with the duck. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. When I was when I when the, when when I started following the floaters, it was definitely about like two hoes that I used to fuck with that that was that was following y'all. Who? Bar, you see my girl over there? What the fuck you talking about? Me who? The fuck is you talking about? <laughs> fuck is you talking about? I don't remember what you're talking about. I was talking about the Ravens. 
fuck, fuck is you talking about? Let's let's finish with more birthdays. That's what I was talking. about I was going to inquire on who they were. Don't inquire. Most people don't. They don't. You know, people not don't ask good questions, nigga. <laughs> you know, you interview Imagine rappers. Imagine Bobby like, hey nigga, I seen you the clip with that bitch now, man. I'm like, nigga, what bitch? Hey nigga, you see my girl sitting over there? <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, what? You 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 you, you yeah, just nigga. take my mind to a whole different place, exactly, like, nigga. She over there, nigga. I know you just, you took my mind to a whole different place. Now I'm thinking like, damn, what's our mutual mutual following type shit? Let's do one more question, bro. Cause I ain't gonna, I'm pressed to be here, bro. I'm so, pressed to be here, and this is my place. Yeah, and it's crazy, but I, I support. Because like, I'm about to commit crimes when I leave here. Like, I got, I got it's DUIs and shit. Like, switch your shit. Don't say that on camera, gang. You. Still- I mean, if I, if, if, but what's, what happened was I said on camera. I gotta make a home. If I make a home, then I'm good. But what I said on camera don't even matter because I was drunk. But yeah, I'm home now. You feel what I'm saying? And if I didn't make it. Damn dog, you gotta, you gotta, you, hey, you out of here, you out of here, big dog, but you out of here though, you out of here, but you, but you out of here though, and you gotta drop, drop them songs I sent you, drop them bitches for me, and, and find my man's Wale too, cause he got the rest of my song. Find, find my man's Wale with the Morgan with me, find that's, that's the clues for you, Act, find Low I Day, find Wale, drop my music for me, bro. I have to drop it like get that shit massive for me and everything like find my roommate you feel what I'm saying okay. get my sunglass hut employee ID that's all you need to get into my computer what college you go to Point? what the Morgan State oh I'm, I'm plugged in with Morgan gang I lost my virginity on Morgan State that's what you my mic is not working I fucked it up is it working now I, I like I said I lost my virginity on Morgan State I'm willing to repeat it. Shout out to, to, to the Morgan State mascot. That's what I was about to say. Dummy, you, you the first nigga I know that brought tea. Nobody don't bring shit here. What'd you say? He, he ain't not bring nothing. <laughs> um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm a, my grandma Jewish, rest in peace. So as I've been in the store, it's like... Two dollars. I I take that. But what does that have to correlate with being with George? Like I don't understand. We're cheap, cheap. George people are cheap. But I'm I'm honestly genuinely I'm I'm a nigga from Emerson. Like I'm a nigga from the trench. Like I do not know shit about Jewish people. I don't know shit about anything. So like, my grandma my grandma was Jewish, right? But when she met my grand my grandfather in New Jersey, my people from New York. Mm. That's mm-hmm. where you from. No, my people's from New York. You from Baltimore. We can get into that. No, I'm not from Baltimore. I'm from you're Col- not from, I'm from Columbia. I was born in Columbia, Maryland. That's Baltimore, gang. Fuck no. You don't claim it? No, I don't claim Baltimore. I only out of respect for people that really had to live in Baltimore, go to Baltimore, public city school. Yeah, if you go, if you talk about like Columbia, Baltimore. Yeah, I live right by Columbia, Baltimore. Oh, live. hell no. Yeah, gang. You can't claim come on, Baltimore. I never claimed Baltimore. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I made that clear. Put it, put it, put it, put it first episode. Hey, I never claimed Baltimore. He never claimed Baltimore. He never claimed Baltimore. I never claimed Baltimore. I all. genuinely thought you were from that. But never, you never heard me say that. I never, I never said that. Okay. So now the, the now the price is clear. The price? The, the I'm sorry, bro. I'm drunk. Oh, oh. But nah, but listen. I'm saying the wrong words, my, gang. Listen. So my, so my, um, my grandfather went to Rutgers, New Jersey, played football. and see, black man. You feel what I'm saying? Um, James Douglas McCoy. My grandmother Rita, she was a white. She was white in New Jersey. She's Jewish. She was Jewish. She grew up Jewish. She got with my grandfather. Her peoples was trying to kill my grandfather for being with her for real. You feel what I'm saying? Cause he was what? Cause what? he was black. This is like the fifties. Cause he was like a nigga, nigga. It's the fifties, bro. Fifties? Nineteen fifties. I said grandparent. Bruh. Nineteen fifties, nineteen late nineteen forties type shit. That's so, nuts. my grandma was Jewish. But she chose love over her family for real. Mm-hmm. She chose us. She chose us. Bro, that's some real she shit. She chose us over her family, you feel what I'm saying? To where they disowned us, so she disowned the Jewish shit. But my grandma was on some shit with the money. Like, she knew how to play with the money. Like, not on no legal shit, nothing like that. But, like, how they say Jewish people was, my grandma was on that. Like, so, like, so when it comes to, like, not spending money that you don't need to spend... That's the shit she used to be in my head about type shit. Oh, so like you she should she should be with me, cause gang, I ain't gonna lie. She passed away. I, I long live her, 
But I'm talking about she should have, she should have, she should have, she should have been with me to talk to me. Cause yesterday and today I spent almost two hundred dollars at the casino, and I'm like negative two hundred. That's a blessing to even be negative two hundred though. I can't be negative. But you two. is though. I am, on but I account? on the on on the checking, damn dummy. That's gang, hey, bro. That's a blessing, bro. Dummy, I shouldn't have went to the casino. Yo, to even be in a position to have a bank. That will let you be negative two hundred. You winning, yo. Yeah, you right. I I will get the two hundred back and be at zero and bet another two hundred if I was you. <laughs> That's exactly. You close it out? That's exactly what I'm about to do. But yeah, hey. my, my, my grandma was a real nigga though. My grandma was this a real nigga. this episode. My grandma was a real nigga. Man, my grandfather. Boom. My father and my uncle grew up in New York in the Bronx. You feel what I'm saying? My mother and my father met in the Bronx when they was fourteen. You feel what I'm saying? And they was was like this. You feel what I'm saying? They had my brother. My father got a scholarship from the Bronx playing basketball to be the Morgan State point guard. And he was the all-time assist leader up until like four years ago. Somebody I've, I've seen that shit. Before. I've seen that. I've seen that. That uh, They got a banner for that nigga, right? Jason McCoy? Yes. I've seen his name before. That's Cap. I'm not capping. I swear to God, I've seen yeah. his name before. Yeah. I've seen his name before. Yeah, you so said you said his name was Jason McCoy. Yeah. I've seen his name before. I've heard of his name before. I was so he got clicked in that Morgan, Morgan from New York. And he got a degree in teaching and moved to Columbia, and that's when he had me. So I'm from Columbia, but I'm like a student of the hip hop game. Like I grew up with 23 year old parents. Like, so I'm in the car listening to Mace, listening to. So that's how I got into this whole bag. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I always wanted to kind of be what I am now, type shit. And we out, man. Hey. I got. I might have to kick it for like 20 minutes or like sober up a little bit. I gotta go to the bathroom anyway. I gotta go to the bathroom too, but I'm gonna wait for you. Hey, I'm about to run it out. So, um, thank you, thank you for the people that's tuning in. I know some people watching this, they feel like we not the top podcasters, but nah, um, we, I'm here to we, reassure. No, nah, we is. I'm, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, got, I'm here. You got, I'm, you, got, you got other people. Too, I'm though. here. I'm here to reassure that we you are. You for the record? For the record. Yeah. It's a new show in Baltimore. No. They going crazy. I haven't heard it all. Got a, um, oh, they interview Reek, right? For yeah. free. I've seen I've seen his interview on there. Yeah. He told me I remember he told me that they interview him like I interview him like the same week they about to drop. Yeah, no, I interview him the same in the week that they interviewed him, I guess. So you interviewed him a minute before you dropped your shit. Yeah. Okay. Basically. So this might not come out for like two months. No, nigga. Oh, no, 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 no. This is good. This I got P2, yo. Yo, yo, this is the $20 million podcast. We wrapping this up. Thank you for tuning in. This is, has been the Floaters X Blasey Network. You got Thank the same you. shirt on. Yes, we do have the same shirt on. We have the P. He have the sniffles. Shorty probably got P2. Um, get better. And I got a roach on the car. I was like, this is big, and I can't wait to hit that motherfucker. Bro, that shit is, that's a good. Hey, that shit was fire. Can we do a part two, yo? Yo, we are going to do it, bro. I'm going to pull up on your shit. You're going to pull up on my shit. Yeah, All that. Like, on my shit. We are locked in. Back. I have your number. Put you on the blue background. Put you on the blue backdrop. Oh, you want me to do a freestyle? No, nah, I'm going to put you on the, on the photos. You know I got the blue backdrop shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do have the blue backdrop. Yeah. Okay. Put you on there. I'm down. I know how to pose. I'm a model. Yeah, we gotta go, yo. Nothing like them niggas how that was. Back in... first, yo? Yeah, we out. I'm gonna go right now. Yeah, we gonna boy shoot and I'm out, man. Shout out to my nigga um, Blase Chris. He's going to the bathroom. He got pee, but this has I been. He, you ain't walk out, dummy. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna count. I ain't gonna put that as a title. But this has been the twenty million dollar podcast. I got a P two. Thank you. Tune in next week. Bye. <laughs>